In July 1871, history was made when the first cat show was held at Crystal Palace in South London. The event, driven by Harrison William Weir, who is now considered the father of the cat fancy, is what ultimately led to the establishment of the GCCF in 1910. With over 170 exhibits and over 20,000 people in attendance, the event was so successful that even more shows were held in London, Glasgow and Edinburgh. The first shows were marketed more towards those of the upper classes, but Weir sought to encourage all classes to take up his view of cats, and as such, when the idea of the cat fancy became more popular, he included classes for working men's cats in his show, in the hope that the working class public would both visit and be inspired by them. Weir's principles on how cats should be treated can be seen in his advocation of animal rights in his artwork, which carries through to the core beliefs of the GCCF that every cat's health, welfare and well-being should be held to the highest consideration. During both the First and Second World War, cat shows were suspended. It wasn't until 1945 when the Knotts and Derby Club was able to reinstate cat shows, with the first one having 622 cats in attendance. Cat shows once again grew in popularity, and in 1949, a new variety came to Britain from the USA in the shape of the Burmese. Throughout the 20th century, more breeds were recognized and more shows took place, including a special commemorative show held in 1953 to celebrate the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. It was in 1976 that the GCCF decided to start running its own show, called the Supreme Show, with special awards and supreme titles for Best in Show winners. Today, the GCCF is the premier registration body for cats in the UK, offering advice and expertise to breeders and cat owners, as well as hosting some of the biggest cat shows in the UK. My name's Rosemary Fisher. I'm currently a director of GCCF. The GCCF's um, a very old organisation. It was founded in 1910 as a direct result of the very first cat show that happened in July 1871. The people who originally started that first show went on, formed some clubs, and those clubs came together to form the GCCF. Since then, it's grown. It's had to take a break, say for World War I and World War II and COVID, but we're still here and we're still going strong. I'm Linda Ashmore, and I have the great privilege to be the show manager of this show. Uh, I've been a show manager for GCCF since 1994, so I've done a lot of shows. But this one is extremely special because it's the first GCCF show We've had since March 2020, when the pandemic came and changed all our lives. It's also celebrating 150 years of cat shows, so I am delighted to welcome everybody to it today. The cat community is not that big, really, and it feels today feels like a family, um, because we're welcoming everybody back. If you're a cat lover, you need to come to a cat show because there's all the fabulous breeds from the Persians, the Maine Coons that are so large and so impressive, right down to the tiny Singaporeas that are like little bush babies. So you can show any cat. It doesn't have to be a pedigree. If you've got a little moggy, that can be shown as well. And it can become a master cat, then a grand master cat, an imperial master cat, and then, if you're lucky, an Olympian master cat. My name's Sean Farrell. I'm the chairman of the governing council of the Cat Fancy. I also happen to be a judge of various breeds, and I've been very happy to come along here today to judge some wonderful cats. It's a great pleasure to be back after such a long break. Of course, everybody's missed the showing aspect, but I think more importantly, the social aspect. It's a very strong social aspect for the showing, and it's always great to see and meet other people. It's been a long time that we've been away from it, and it's really, really nice to be back. <laughs>